Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a banner in Photoshop. I'm going, to I'm going to show you how to get the correct size um, and put things together. And it'll make a real simple banner, but uh, just to give you an idea of, of uh, the basics on how to do it. So I have here a banner that, uh, that I made for one of our niche websites. Um, and if you're making a banner for your website or, or for whatever you're, you're trying to do, um, you need to get the, uh, the correct dimensions. Now, it doesn't uh, uh, say what the dimensions are, but there's a way to find out. And the way to find out is you'll right-click on the banner and go down to Inspect Element. When you're in Inspect Element, you'll see um, uh, this uh, bar pop up. And you can see the little pop-up down there as I hover over it, and it gives you the dimensions. And in this case, this banner's dimensions are 931 by 151 pixels. Okay, so now that we have that, and we know that we're going to be putting a new banner in this space, uh, we know we need the dimensions correct. So now that we have that, let's shoot over to our Photoshop. And here we are in our Photoshop. Um, now, one important thing is, if we, we have some coffee beans right here that we're going to put on our background because we're going to make a banner for a coffee shop. I don't have a coffee shop or anything of that, but this is just for the video, uh, for the tutorial. So we're going to make a, a, a coffee shop banner. So now we know what the dimensions are, and a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll go to File and New, and go to a blank file, and uh, the dimensions are 931, if we remember, by 151, 151. Click OK, and it'll put the, the exact size that we need in, in here. Now, if we directly import um, this image here, it's going to look distorted. And let me show you right quick what I'm talking about. So if we go to File and Place, and we'll look for that image. And there it is. Um, it looks fine there, but and then we, we'll stretch it out, and you can see how distorted it looks. And I don't think that that will look for a very nice banner. I mean, you can barely see them. They look all squished. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in. We're going to drag and drop it in as it is. And then we're going to go to Image and Resize Image. And we know that our... Um, we have 931 by 151, okay? So we're going to change this to 931. And I'm, I'm sure that there are other methods out there, um, but this is what works for me, and this is what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, and if we do the file, the image resize to 151, We see we get the same squished effect, okay? So we don't want that. What we're going to do is we're going to crop some of this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop uh, approximately how thick we think this banner is going to be. Once we've cropped it to how thick we think it's going to be, then we'll go back to Image and uh, Resize. And now we'll put the correct um, height on there. And this is 151. And that looks a little better. You can actually see the bean, coffee beans, and things of that nature. Okay, so now that we have the main background here, let's work on uh, the coffee cup that we're going to put in here. So what we'll do is we'll put this, we'll drag and drop, and it's going to make a new window. And now this is not going to look good if we move this up here. Um, you see how it still has the background. And we don't want that. We want the just the coffee cup um, with with the beans behind it. Okay, so we're gonna take this background out. So what we do is we go to our magic eraser tool and we right click on our eraser and go down to magic eraser tool, and we'll just take this background out by clicking on uh, the different parts of the background. Once we've taken that out, we'll bring up our coffee beans again. And we'll simply drag and drop this into the coffee beans. And now we can see that the background has been taken out of it. 
and we have a nice cup that we can move around however we like. Now I want another one on this side, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the layer section and I'm going to right click on this layer. You can do it here or you can do it here. Right click on the layer and go duplicate layer. Click OK. I'm not going to worry about naming it just for the video here, but you can name different name it different uh, things that you like. And so now we have two coffee cups. Well, I want the uh, um, the handles to face each other. So what you what I do is I grab this section here, and I just flip it over, and I kind of guess whereabouts. Uh, looking at the other cup, kind of guess whereabouts it should be. And so now we have our, our two cups. And let's just bring it down. I'll be using my arrow keys here to just nudge it down to the bottom. And again on this one, just so it looks nice. And then we'll add some text. So then we go to our text tool, grab it. It's taking a while, sorry about that. And we'll just make a block here of text. And we'll call this my coffee shop. All right, so we'll just name it my coffee shop for now. We'll OK it. And we'll move it as kind of in the center of these two cups, best as we can. <clears throat> OK, so now uh, let's just beef this up to just a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little shadow. Maybe I'll put a, um, a little outline on it too. You can see the outline, and then we'll put a little shadow to give it a little depth here. Here we go. You see how it changes to give it a little depth? We'll also put a little uh, shadow on the cups as well. And that's just a quick banner. So there you have it, another successful and simple how-to video. I hope this has helped you. Uh, please subscribe and comment if you like. Thanks.